Hey guys, it's Carrie. What is your favorite animal? African elephant? An elephant uses its tusks for everything from fighting to digging to feeding to marking. Elephants have been known to use their tusks to push over trees which they then feed on. When competing for mates, male elephants will use their tusks to duel against each other violently. Aggression comes about when the males go into musk. Dominance by fighting. A fight can range from mild playful pushing to raging battles to the death. These dominance or threat displays are designed to demonstrate the superior strength and social position of the individual elephant. Despite being the biggest land animals, elephants are frightened of one of the smallest. Although they could easily stomp on them, elephants avoid ants because they can easily get into their trunks and wreak havoc on the sensitive nerve endings within. If there's water close by, I think the elephant could fix this by sucking up litres of water and spraying it out with the ants as well. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Bengal Tiger The tiger has fairly stout teeth. It's somewhat curved canines are the longest among living fillets with a crown height up to 9 centimeters. Female tigers are smaller than the males. The males have wider four paw pads enabling sex to be identified from the tracks. A tiger's paw can reach the size of 20 centimeters or 8 inches. Equipped with sharp claws at the tip of the paws, a tiger swipe is one of the main weapons. Besides bears, a swipe from a tiger's paw is one of the most deadly. Sumatran tiger? This tiger is at my local zoo. This is a very large male. This Sumatran tiger is the smallest of all the species and has the darkest orange fur. Sumatran tigers are only found in Sumatra these days, apart from zoos. <laughs> mountain gorilla? It's an albino mountain gorilla. There has only been one gorilla that was albino. It lived in Barcelona Zoo. His name was Snowflake. Snowflake had albinism and was the product of inbreeding where both relatives carried the recessive gene. Snowflake was about 40 years old at the time of his death. Gorillas are the largest primate. Silverback gorillas fight using their teeth, hands and legs. Their canine teeth are sharp that they easily penetrate into the flesh of another gorilla or any other animal being involved in the fight. The gorilla's musculature and skeleton are considerably more robust. The gorilla can take much more punishment before being seriously injured. Their muscle mass density is almost four times higher than the most heavily muscled powerful humans. The initial stage of a gorilla fight is when they beat their chest so hard and loud while stamping their feet on the ground when they charge. Their superhuman strength enables them to survive the harsh conditions of the jungle. Gorilla fights are rare because they are gentle and love to live in peace but they are aggressive when they need to be. Lion? Lion's claws are protractable, meaning that at rest, 
the claws are sheathed. When the animal flexes certain muscles in the foot, the claws are forced out. Lions can be seen scratching their claws against a tree trunk. This is done for two reasons. Firstly, to sharpen the claws and also to clean them. As the claws grow, the keratin outer layer is shed and needs to be constantly removed from the claw. They also have this behaviour to mark their territory. Lions have interdigital scent glands in between their toes. This means by stretching out the toes, the scent is released onto whatever they happen to be scratching at. This is usually done on a tree. A lion's paw can be between 6.4 and 15.2 centimetres long and are nearly circular. Lion's paw pads are designed to absorb the impact of a fall on the lion's legs. These pads also help by minimising vibrations they create on the ground, making their movements virtually silent. They have a very deadly and powerful paw swipe. Okapi. Once a male and female meet, the male gets close to the female and sniffs her genital area. Courting pairs stand parallel to one another with their heads facing opposite directions to sniff and lick the genitals of their partner. Both males and females then urinate and smell the markings of their partners using flamen. Males then stretch their neck and kick their legs, among other body postures. If a female accepts the male, she lowers her head and moves her tail aside. Before copulation, a mating male moves behind his mate, licks her back and then prepares to mount her. A non-receptive female may move forward and kick her potential mate. In the male, the testes are scrotal and the penis is fibroelastic. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and reply to all your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.